looking to attack the paint, go inside, establish the paint first. That opens up the inside-outside game. Nice back, back, back door. And you understand that you want to deny outside, and Culver's going to attract so much attention. Mooney back door. They kind of act like they played together before. There's a team, guys, is three-point shooting, 37%, but right now they're able to get to the basket. Culver up and under. Nice move. And good attack there by the Red Raiders. What you want to do is attack it in the middle, and right there, once you get it in the middle, Culver, it now turns onto a one-in-one -one situation. And now, because you have shooters spread out, you're able to dissect the defense and get right down the middle. And that's the first perimeter shot today by either team. It is, yeah. Every field goal's come in the paint. And there's another one. Black Culver underneath. They were tops in their league in fast break points this year with 15 a game. None of that so far today. Culver for three. Got it. Movement of the ball, okay? Now you're set, you're ready to go, you launch it. And coaches work on this every day. If you don't have the shot, make a quick decision. Try to stay with him this time, too. Kick out to Francis for three. Got it. You know, we Brandon talk Francis. Brandon Francis, the senior with a three. Maybe next offensive possession, go back to him yes. again. He just feels good, soft bucket. Boy, that's the second time Culver's had that little spin off the glass. This time a chance for a three-point play. Culver, excellent use of the screen, tight curl inside, escape dribble, and then able to absorb the contact and finish. And Culver maybe got away with Palmer the ball on that trip. Yep, three-pointer from the corner for Francis. Francis has made it six. Red Raiders on top. Now they better get to work. Jalen Tate on the dribble. Tate on the drive, the kick out, Walton, the extra pass was not a good one. And Culver lobs at the buzzer. Didn't get it off in time. Down. Inside is Moretti. Boy, nice pass by Culver. Mooney hooks it in the paint to Owens. Now Culver spins with a left hand, got it. Culver go to work in space, the nice little Barishnikov spin move, the soft touch, and finish one more time. <clears throat> Again, the lay in with the left hand and a chance for a three point play. McDonald on the bench, lets him observe over there like an assistant coach. Uh, one of seven on the game, trying to find a way. Mooney for three. Yes. Mooney from outside. And Texas Tech with an eight-point lead. Inside, another block shot. What do you say this time? Culver lobs Owens underneath. Yeah. Excellent pass over the top by Culver. They hit when they uh, beat Wright State in their tournament title game. They had 12 threes. Speaking of a three, there's Culver with one. Well, the year that they had, you understand why the excitement is there. The opportunity to advance and do something special for the program. Mooney inside. Everything working right now. Now 13. The key is to get it under 10 right. by the eight-minute timeout. Now you give yourself a chance, but you got to play defense on this end. And coach, as you know, CC Cove will go for the jump shot. It's excellent again, defense by Texas Tech. And Chris Beard, a defensive wizard. Really a genius when it comes to this side of the ball. How about Culver just feeling it, fellas? 25 for Culver. I mean, that is a factor when you've got the rim protector. Uh, like Tariq Owens, it's, it's a difference maker. And Culver, sweet drive with the right hand. To rebound and sharp to this point has been the main anchor in regards to offense again. The defensive stops are going to get you in, back in this game. Moretti buries a jumper. Boy, good movement by Moretti there. Movement without the ball, using teammates as screeners and able to free himself.